Hello and welcome to Engineer Campus, a place where I want to help you make your idea into a product. So in step one, inventing means you have an idea, you know what you could do, but you know how to develop it, and you need to explore your idea. And I want to show you tools for discovery and imagination. But before we step into this topic, I want to quickly show uh, why we start uh, very vague and with a small thing. And what you can show, what they can see in this diagram here, is the cost of the complete project in the, each phase, from concepting to operation execution, and its influence over the cost, uh, from the beginning concept to the end, then to the execution. And you can see that while at the beginning of the project, we have a very low costs, but we have a higher influence over the cost. Whereas on the end of the project, uh, we can almost change nothing about the cost, but we, everything what we do is very, very cost, uh, very, very expensive. Just as an example, if you uh, start your development project, you want to build a car, and then think about, hmm, do I build a Matchbox car or do I build a Lamborghini? So, the decision that you make there is very, very cheap. Maybe you have to uh, use, a, use a pen and uh, use up a pen and some paper because you changed some notes. But the decision that you make is at the end uh, changes the cost a lot. So it's important to be right from the beginning up and to take the time and then uh, make sure that you are doing the right stuff later on. One important thing for being creative and coming up with ideas is doodling and note-taking. So I can recommend having something to draw with. So I have like this notebook book with me a lot of time and I can just make drawings in it and take notes, make diagrams when I have an idea, do sketches and just write everything down that I get. I take notes of thoughts about an idea. If I have an idea, then I write down what could be um, an idea that belongs to it. And yeah, so it's important when on the search for an idea to have something to write with you all the time and that you write everything down and make place for you for new ideas so that when you have an idea in your head, you write on paper and this really um, feels like making space in your head and having place for new ideas. I had this so often that I had an idea that I had thought for and then it went away and a few days later I had the same idea again and I was thinking about it, but just only as I was writing it down I could build on top of that idea. So when you have to done a lot of doodling and writing down ideas, maybe you find something that is worthwhile and you want to have a clear idea so you put more work into the drawings. Uh, you give it more details and you can uh, put this product idea into an environment to see how it behaves and what kind of other parts you need for it. Does it have to be put on a table or is it in nature? Does it need a power cord? And this stuff that makes it more real and can show you how realistically it is. Another classical way to get more ideas is brainstorming. In brainstorming, you write down everything that comes to mind for your idea. And you also find out if you can imagine problems with the product. What are the requirements for the product and everything around it. And I can also uh, recommend to focus also on the negative aspects of the product and the solutions for it because it's easy to get carried away from the awesome and great benefits of the product. Then if you really want to get into it, I can recommend creative exploring, where you think about a story basically. You imagine a user of your product and go through the handling of the product and how you might find it in the store, buys it, goes at home, uses it, um, maybe some kind of lawnmower and then how he stores the lawnmower, how he uh, repairs it, um, if he resells the lawnmower and goes through the lifetime cycle of the product and can thus already find some aspects of it. 
So just imagine the user of your product and what problems you may find and also might who the user might be and note how you can find him because of this then you can also already find out the target group. So these are some help for inventing and at the end you know, should know what you want to build. The question should be solved by the end of this step and the intentions for your future development should be clear. You should take around a day or two for this process and be patient with it and not start too fast ahead. Because the earlier you find out you're wrong, the less energy you waste on it. So I hope I see you at the next episode. Thank you very much.